Hi, I'm Trisha. And I'm George. And we're, we're reselling, reselling with, with the Clarks. Clarks. Today we have a haul for you from the Goodwill outlet we call the Benz. Um, Benz. Our clothing items are $1.59 a pound. If you get over 20 pounds, it's $1.29 a pound, which is what we had this time. And then um, the items such as this or hats or ties or um, toys. toys run um, 79 cents a pound. Books are 25 for paperback, 50 cents for hardback, and videos are a dollar. Right. So let's get started. We ran into these little jewels. They're, um, they're little kits for the uh, nebulizers. They're still sealed in the package. We've got 24 of them. Brand they, new, still in the package. They don't weigh hardly anything, and for 79 cents a pound, we got quite a few for maybe three bucks. And they are selling for about, I think they're setting them up in sets of three, and they're selling for about $10, nice. if I remember right, yep. when we looked them up on eBay. Um, the next item we got was this Soda Stream cartridge. It's a CO2 cartridge, brand new, still in the box. It's not outdated until, until 2021. later in next year. Yeah. And since it had a little bit of weight to it, I asked the lady if they would do a price, and she charged me a dollar. She didn't even charge me by the pound. Ooh, so they're selling for around $35 on eBay, the sold listings. So we'll see how that does. And then we found this. I don't know why this caught my eye. I looked it up online, and there's one by some guy in Florence or something like that, and they're selling for like 54 bucks. But it's a porcelain doll. This is plastic. And then I started looking it up again and found out it's got Disney on the feet. So I looked it up and it's uh, Wizard of Oz and it's Disney and it's going for 24 So brand new. This one don't have a box, but it looks brand new like it's never been used or anything. So see what comes out of that. Um, I picked up this little guy. He has the tag still attached and they're not bent up or anything. He's in really good shape. I usually don't pick up the TY Beanie Babies, but I did see that there were several sold listings around the $20 range with him. So I thought we'd give him a try at $0.79 cents a pound and he's not near, I don't even think he's half a pound. So I thought we'd give him a try. we got three hats from I'm going to show real quick. This is just a uh, London, England hat with the British flag on it. It's pink black brim this is a blue Patagonia Patagonia those seem to do really good from the and cops. then I kind of like this one because there's people out there kind of like this engineer train hat that's what it looks like it reminded me of adjustable back so, so we'll give it I a try those. and see what happens I also got this um sewed in the saran wrap um MK Men's After Shaving Gel. This is by Mary Kay. I wasn't sure when I got it. It was in the um, 79 cents a pound things. And it's selling for around 8 to $10 plus shipping. Maybe a little less, but I figured it didn't weigh much. And we'd give it a try. And we've got a shirt here. Death Star, I believe it is. Yep, Death Star. It's uh, Star Wars, I believe the Death Star and it's by Star Wars merchandise size medium use it was for like a child I guess it's Star Wars I picked up these two um, patterns which they're in the 79 cents a pound items there's simplicity they're adult costume patterns I'm gonna try to get those out in the next day or so before Halloween. I don't know if it's too late for someone to make their own costume at this point, but I thought I'd give these a try. Um, if not, if they sit for a while, that's okay too. We have to wait a couple days to put stuff online because we're doing a 20% off sale this weekend. It's our first time doing that. So this we'll see how that goes for us. Gryffindor. That's a, one of the Harry Potter. Harry Potter shirt. Graphic t-shirt. Graphic t-shirt. It's uh, by Harry Potter. Yep. It's a size, gee, I don't know, large. Well, we got that um, Charlie Brown Thanksgiving um, DVD. It didn't look scratched at all, and I picked that up actually for the family. Now, this was a sold in the plastic um, PBS home video, The War. This is selling around the $30 mark online, right. so uh -huh. we thought we'd give that a try. We don't usually pick up movies. Um, I also picked up the C.S. Lewis Mere Christianity book. It's not selling real high, but I think it was about $7 mark. And then, $7 um, or $7. an American Girl book. 
Um, I have several of the other ones, and so I thought I might lot these together. They sell for about four bucks, and they're a quarter there. But I um, have some of the other ones, and thought I might lot them together, and you get a little bit better price with that. And then um, the other thing we got in the seventy-nine cents a pound was a couple ties. This one I thought was a really cool. Um, it's just Daniel Defossa. Defa I don't even know how to say that. But anyway, it's the bright, funky colors is why I got it. It's a little on the wide side. But um, I haven't looked up comps on that. And then I also picked up a Jerry Garcia tie. I picked these up. I have several of his ties, so I might do a lot with them. This is called the Oak Tree. I have no idea. But um, I thought we'd give those a try. They don't weigh much at all. And um, I don't pick up all the ties, but I do pick them up if they're bright and bold or I recognize the name. From what I hear, the Donald Trump ones sell really good and Rush Limbaugh. But I haven't sold any of them yet, so we'll have to see if we can find some of those. We picked up a shirt here, simply Vera, Vera Wong, Wong, w Vera Wang. Wang, whatever, size small. It's new with it's just tags. just a plain little blouse Her items or don't always shirt. do great, great, but I think it'll do about $12, 10 and to $12. Uh, new with tags. It was new with tags from, from Kohl's. Kohl's. So this is a first for me. I've looked and I've heard Ben Peckers for one and different ones talk about buying buying the bras at the bins and things. I got this strapless Victoria's Secret. It does have an option for straps. And in another bin run I did, I had straps, so I may put some in with that. Um, and it is a 36C strapless. It doesn't really look like it's been worn at all. It's in mm, very good shape. No balling or anything. A little bit of dust from the bins. But um, that'll wipe off real easy, and I'm not sure how they sell. This is my first time, so we'll see how it does. Evidently, they do good because uh, G's been selling them like crazy. They buy uh, they buy pallets. pallets they, well, they did before. I don't know they if they do still do that. They did that when they were they in California. Their, yeah, they get them up there where they're at. So we'll see. We have another shirt. It's just a plain gray. Uh, may the force be with you, Star Wars. And it's Star Wars merchandise. That's by Star Wars. So. The Star Wars logo in there, and it's a we size like to pick small. Up, we like to pick up the graphic tees if they're anything popular out there, you know. And I don't know how they'll do. We'll just have to wait and see. I have no clue. What now this I've is. got a Tipsy Elves sweater before, but I've never got leggings. I've seen these in a size medium. I just thought they were pretty cool. Uh, it might be a little late to get them out for Halloween, but I want to get these on in the next couple days, and we'll see if they get anybody gets those for Halloween or not. If not. Who knows? They'll be there. I thought pretty cool. Look like my they legs. They were cool. They look like my legs. Got uh, some Hurley's medium leggings or Capri. Capri. And, it, and it says they're actually Nike too. It um, must be a collaboration because. I don't know. You can't see yeah, it. Yeah, it, it says Hurley, Hurley on there. And, but it also says Nike Dry Fit on here. So it must have been a collab they did. I don't know. But I don't know what they'll do. I didn't comp them. I figured if they don't sell, then... Me or my, one of my girls will use them. Um, I picked up this Ivanka Trump. Speaking of the Trump earlier. Um, I have heard some of her clothing do okay. I do have a pair of... Uh, or I do have a sweater of hers. But I haven't right. sold it yet. Hasn't sold. Um, but I picked that up. At the bins, you know, you can't... You can give different things a try maybe. That you wouldn't always pick up. Because there's such a light... You know, especially if it's something light like that. It doesn't weigh much. And it's you like can take G a says, chance. Think outside the box. <laughs> okay, I got another shirt here. This is uh, Nike, Nike running. running. It's a dry fit size extra large. It's gray. It's got the black uh, cuffs on the sleeves hmm. and underneath the armpit. It kind of goes under. Uh, yeah, you can see it that better that way. But yeah, it seems like a nice shirt for jogging, running. I picked up this Adidas um, little hoodie. hoodie. But it's, I believe it's an extra small. It is. Yeah. But um, it's the go-to hoodie. It's a cute color. It's got the thumb holes. And with the big logo, they seem to do better. So we'll just see how that does. Um, I also picked up another hoodie. This is actually a short sleeve one. And I actually seen one of these on the Ben wool? Pickers. What no, is this that? is by Obey. Um, oh, cool looking though. And it says, I really like the back of it. It says... Um, make, make art, not war. Right. We'll see how it does. Um, at the bends, you can't beat it. Yeah, the sleeves are stitched, so they kind of like roll back. Yeah, they're short sleeve, but they're also cuffed. Cuffed, and they, they got stitched the in them to the keep sleeve. them from one rolling. Yeah, yeah so, so that's pretty cool. They're really cool. 
I have uh, new with tags is a skirt, and it is, if I can find the tag, Harvey Bernard. I don't know. It was just new with and tags, a, and it was a nice skirt, so I picked it up. Size 10, I believe. Yeah. 29 medium. Oh, it's no, a 10 in women's. 10? Yeah, it's a 10, 10 in, in women's. women's. Well, I hope it's women's as a skirt. Yeah. Unless men want to wear skirts. Well, I guess but it's they new can. With tags. It's from, don't know where it's from. I'm not sure what that store is. I don't know if it said the story. Fabric content. No, it no, didn't. It don't. I also picked up a couple Athleta workout tanks. Um, this one's got the crisscross strapping in the back, which is really cute. And it still has the um, breast pads in it. And then I have the um, another Athleta one. I picked up two Athleta ones this time. This one does not have the padding in the front. But when you get them at the bin, you know, I don't know exactly what they'll sell. Maybe 15 a piece. I'm not sure. Um... But I'm always going to pick up Athleta or Lululemon or any of them at the bins if I can find them. We've got a large long sleeve Echo Unlimited shirt. That's a size 6X, I believe. Let me see. It's a size 6XB. Yeah. For big boy. But yeah. <laughs> I just sold a pair of Echo shorts, so we do pretty good with those. I picked this up. It says it's, a, I believe, a large in women's. Um, I picked it up in the bins. I'm going to see if it fits. If it does, I'll take that. It's, I guess, a long tunic, short dress. I'm not sure. I'll wear it with a pair of leggings, but um, if it fits me. And then I also picked up this um, men's Columbia pair of board shorts. Um... They look like new. They're a size 30. Yeah. Um, I don't know. But in the bins. And I'm going to try saving some swimwear back. And list a bunch in January. I got that advice from the bin pickers. Gene and Michelle. Always love to watch you. Um, Every night. I um, So I have been picking up swimsuits. And things like that. To put back and hopefully be able to list the first, around the first, right before the first of the year and see how we do. I haven't tried that before, so it's something new we're going to try, and we'll see what happens. And Don't I also mind me, got I'm grabbing this. From our pile here. Now this got is a lot. this one's outside the box for me. I did pick up a Pottery Barn Kids little. Um, at first, I thought crib quilt, but I think it's actually a toddler bed size. Um, when I was looking, I have Floral not found pint. this pattern yet. But it is really cute. And they seem to be going for about um, 20, 25 ish yeah. for the crib or the um, toddler bed ones. So we'll see what it does. I've never picked one up before, but this is in the $1.29 a pound. I'm not sure how much it weighs. It must I would... have came out the other side of the store. That's yeah, regular. I think it was in the other one. It was they... seven forty nine, and they, they brought had it over listed to the... over there. Right. But um, I'm not sure how much it weighs. I'll weigh it and just see. But I thought I'd give it a try. I've not done that bedding before, but. To me, it's, it's worth a, pound, a try. It? It's just over a pound. So I paid maybe $2 for it. But we'll give it a try. Okay, we have a... Is this a child's? Oh, yeah, it's a That's girl's. for my little great niece. Palace, size, small, That's children's five to place. Six. Children's it's place. It's a little pink, little fluffy, little heart-shaped, little cop. I picked up some little girls' clothes. I usually don't sell kids' clothing, but I was... um. We'll buying some of them for my little great niece. Um, her name's Oakley. These are skinny jamboree size three T. Just yes. trying to help pick up. I like to pick up for my nieces, my great nieces, or my grandkids, or the neighbor kids, whoever. Yeah, pink. Um, just little crayon animals, nothing I don't know fancy. What that's They're just gray animals, just gray cute animals. little fleece pants, nothing fancy. Just for my little great niece to play in. And then she got this is cute, but it's all on the inside. It's not even on the outside. It's, yeah, it's just a little spring jacket. Yeah, for but next on the inside spring. it has. Yeah, it's got in that it. floral print. It's real cute. It's from the Gap. Nothing yeah. fancy. Just something for my little great niece. I did pick up some sweaters to list for us. Yeah. Gonna try to get some out this week. Get ready to list this weekend. Um, this is just from the Elf movie, I believe, and yeah. it's from Holiday Time. It's a large 1214. Um, it looks like it's never been worn. It's not pilly at all. Nope. And so I'm trying to get as many... I've been picking up sweaters often and trying to get them listed because of the holidays coming up and the cooler weather. We've got a yellow sweater here. It's a Jenny... Jean Pierre. Jean Pierre. And it's... It's a medium. Lamb's wool and Angora rabbit something, Got some anyway, but anyway, 
It's got a little bit of balling. I'll run the um, defuzzer over it. And, um, it usually does pretty good. Yeah, I it mean, does real no well. There's no real major really, stains There's on no it. big snags or anything, just some little bit of pilling. And I'll run that over it, and it'll look good as new. This little, um, I bought this thinking it would fit my daughter. Hey, can you but, run um, me and make me look good, too? Mm, oh. I don't think it'll make you look new. Yeah. Sorry. It's going to take a lot. Columbia, it says it's a large um, 12 14 I think but it was or 14 16 but it said um it was a, or I mean it was a little too tight for my daughter I thought it would fit her so I'll either list that or pass it down to one of my nieces or someone that can wear it uh, the next item I picked up also was one of the another sweater it's got um I guess they're moose yeah um getting ready to fight there this is chaps just a chaps men's sweater and um I just thought I'd see how it did with the cool weather coming up and holidays. Kind of looks holiday-ish to me. Did you do this one? Well, I got this scarf here, too. This was brand new. I don't really pick up scarves much or anything like that. Not really have sold them. It's, I've had, I have one list that I got in a storage new locker. With tags. But this was new with tags. Um, I don't know this brand. C-E-J-O-N. It's just brand new. Sparkly black on silverish gray. I don't know, but I just thought I'd give it a try. Um, for Ben's price, you know, it's worth a try to me. Right. Another item I picked up is this David Bighton Buffalo. B-I-T-T-O-N and then yep. Buffalo. It David is Biden. a little zip-up sweater. It's a size medium in women's. And um, it's the kind that has the double zipper so you can unzip it a little bit at the bottom. It is 100% lamb's wool. And it's got this really neat stitching down the back. I love how the piecework is on it. Mm. Another sweater. Yeah, a lot of them. Um, I try to pick them up this time of year and up to this time of year. I, I put them back. I put them back and put out in the fall. Um, this is a Lane Bryant. Don't usually pick this brand up, but they thought the sweater was really nice. It's a 1820. Looks like new. Has this ruffled neckline, and then it's just a basic gray sweater. It's very soft. It is part Angora rabbit hair. I thought it was something. Poor rabbits. <laughs> is that oh what it is? Oh my gosh. Poor rabbits. We got some flannel shirts here. Um, this is new with tags, it looks like. This is a Colsey, C O L S I E, size small. It's just a basic little. It flannel actually shirt. looks like it might be a little cropped. Because like crop. that's a yeah. small in women, it so is. it's cropped. Yeah. It looks like it's been cropped. It's cute. But that's our daughter's. She's going to steal yeah. that one. Yeah. Um, most of the flannel shirts are going to our daughter. Um, this is Old Mill, a size small in ladies. Just another flannel shirt. This is what, a jacket? This is. Yes, um, and that's a cropped little jacket. What it's is really that? cute. Decree? Decree, no fancy brand. This again will be for my daughter. It's just a little crop army green. Jacket. This is for our son stole this one, Mordecai. It's a dinosaur. Ah, America. Murica. It's a dinosaur with the flag. Ah, Murica. Yeah. So that's for our son Mordecai. Another vest. I didn't I picked this up. I didn't know whether my daughter would use it or it would be for resale, but it's just a Forever 21, but my daughter really liked it. So it'll be going to her. You know, I figure they can wear it. If they get tired of it, then we'll sell it. If not, we bought it at Ben's prices. You can't beat that for your kids' clothing. Mm -hmm. This is just a little mud, another little um, flannel. And this one has the bleach spots all over it, and it is made that way. And so that's, I guess, one of the new styles is the distressed flannel shirts. Lulu. Um, yeah, I don't typically get those. Lulu. Lulu. Lularo. I'm not sure exactly Lularo, how you say it. I don't yeah. usually get those, but these have the black cats all over them. So I thought I'd try them since we're right around the corner from Halloween. If they don't do well, one of my girls will wear them. Yeah. And then I picked up this Bill New York City NYC. It's a um, extra large. It's like a shirt. little flannel shirt slash Pretty dress. Long, though. Yeah. I might wear, I might just keep that for myself. We'll see how that goes. Here's your little. I picked these up socks, too. So like They're they just little. Um, they say monkey garage, gas monkey garage. Just these little high. They got wrenches on them and little stuff. Little red, white, and green. More like a Christmassy type thing. So, just a little pair of socks that was in there. They're brand new. You can tell they've never been worn. We have this here black T-shirt. It's a. Uh, insert pizza. Insert pizza and to continue. Insert pizza to continue. And that's our daughter. One of our daughters confiscated that one, Deja. Everybody. Another little t-shirt. One of my girls 
took this one. It seems like most of the t-shirts got taken over by the girls. Not all, but most. This is for my little great niece. Got her some little PJs and another pair of pants. These ones are bigger, so I have to grow into them, but can't beat Ben's prices. We're about done with our and here, here we go with some swimwear. Um, now these are just bottoms. They're by Island Escape. Island Escape. They're just a little skirted black bottom. I do check um, the bottom, the behind of it to make sure it isn't like all scraped up from the cement of or a pool. Or stains or... And I always check the crotch area to make sure they're not gross. Um, if they are, I will not even take them home to clean them. I just don't even get them. Don't even donate them. I just don't pull them from the bins at well, all. No, if but if like we did that. get them home, no. we see that, we won't even donate no, stuff No, like I would that. just we'll throw it away. It. Yeah. Um, I also picked up this bathing suit. I thought this was kind of cute. The straps are, it's by Maxine of Hollywood. The straps are removable. It's just a one piece. It's a bigger size. And um, it does have the padding in it. Um, it's a size 14. It's not a big, big size. But it's like kind of like a swim dress with the panties attached. You know, it's a one piece. So I thought that was really cute. And like I said, I'm trying to get some um, swimwear ready for the first part of the year. This is a Rockin' Republic little pair of jean shorts. These will go to my daughter. She's already if they confiscated fit her. them. She has to try them all on. So if they don't fit her, they go on the sale. This is like a, they cut the neck. Just a, it's a distressed um, sweatshirt, tie-dye. Tie-dye sweatshirt. Yep. That one's going to be confiscated by the daughter. Yeah. And this one, um, George is, um, a retired Navy guy, as we've said in some of our other videos. And also, his oldest daughter was in the Navy for, I believe, four years. Yeah. And um, so, I picked this up. I thought he could wear that. And if he decides he's not going to wear it, we'll list it. We'll see what happens. But in the bins, and it looks new. It's, yeah. I mean, it's still soft fuzzy. It's never been washed, for sure. Here's a pair of Batman <laughs> out of the box. Batman pajamas. Adult Batman. Adult Batman. Onesie pajamas. And turn that around because it's even got the cape. <laughs> <laughs> now, I've seen the adult pajamas, but I do not think I've seen them with the cape. Uh, these are, uh, let me see real quick. I these think they're are a medium in men. Batman uh, Incorporated Comics. Yeah. It's a size medium. Yeah. I got a laugh out of that with the cape on there. I don't know. You think I have to wear it? Mm, I don't know. I actually thought of Jonathan. He's no, a boy that uh, likes the Batman stuff. I'd be stupid stuff. enough to jump off the top of the house saying, I look like I got a cape, um, I can fly. I picked up this little skirt. I haven't comped it or anything, but I figured if it wasn't much, I may it's just... cute colors, I might though. keep that for myself. It really is cute. The last item here that I think we got everything, and this I is a jacket, which me. I thought was pretty cool, but I, I don't see many comps on it. I looked it up. It's a um, AKDMKS. Ad, ad, uh, ac, academics is probably what it is. It has a nice, it's uh, got an emblem on the back with a, like a tiger, cat, or something. I'm not sure and what it front, is, but I thought like it was pretty cool. It's like a football jacket or something. It, it, reminds, me of, it reminds me of a varsity jacket, yeah, right. but it, it has a name there on the front, and it's, uh, like I said, it's got camouflage it's sleeves. It's just the brand name again. And it's black. It's AK. D here M K S I believe. Yep. So. And then I got these pants here. They're brand new with the tag. They're called Red Camel. They're a large in boys. I'm not sure. I don't know anything about them. They're the um. They look like denim, but they're actually like a jogger leg. Um. I don't know. I have not comped these. They may end up going to one of my boys. We'll just kind of have to see. And um. Yeah. I think we actually did get. I thought we were going to end up with a really long video, and we actually got through that pretty quickly. Yeah. And um, so I hope you enjoyed. This was our latest Ben's haul. Um, we picked up quite a few things. I'm not sure how much it was. I do know it was over 20 pounds, and um, mm -hmm. and I don't know what the item's weight was, but um, we. I love the bins. It's my, we don't like the environment sometimes. It gets crazy and people shove and don't listen and follow the rules and those type of things. Yeah, very rude. But I like the price because it makes your profit margin so much higher. And um, sometimes we find some really good things there. I've found Lululemon. i found Athleta. I've found Vintage, new with tags. You know, I found J. Crew new with tags. I've, I found, you know, from bread and butter brands, they call them. 
up to high-end vintage that are going well we found Disney things we found you know a lot of different things but I just it's such a great profit margin when you're paying by the pound like that so I really enjoy it George gets a little more frustrated with the other people I just kind of block them out but um, it's probably one of my favorite things places to shop because of the value I enjoy going to the other thrift stores it is more laid back but I love the value the profit margins that you get when you go to the bins so I hope you enjoyed this haul and if you did hit the like button um, if you enjoy this kind of content we hope you'll subscribe below if you're not already subscribed and I will catch you on the flip side God bless